Alrighty, guys. It is uh, Thursday, the 31st of March. Look, it's a cool update to Trackmania. A new menu. Look at this. It's so cool. I saw this while I was at work today. And I was like, man, that's sick. But that doesn't change the experience here. So I'm going to play Chikyu. I don't know how to say that. Let's see what it is. There's a ramp in the there's a ramp in the thumbnail, which means that hopefully there's a ramp in the line. I don't know. Don't know where I'm going with that. The other big thing about this update is a whole bunch of new blocks that I've yet to play with, and I'm super excited to. Kind of kind of want to make a map just to see how it goes. We'll see. What kind of map is this? Oh, I know this map. The full speed dirt map. You want to know how I know this map? This was uh, the final map for uh, uh, the the final. This is yeah. This is the final map for the cup that um, the Trackmania Grand League player Granati uh, does. He has like his own cup that he does. I don't know the map because I'm not. I didn't participate in that cup, but I saw the map, so I already know how to play it. <laughs> that's a really, that's a really, really cool animation. I mean, to be fair, the last Trackmania, Trackmania Two, had an animation for, um, for medals. So at at this point we're back to like you know we had a we took a step back and now we're where we're supposed to be, but technically it's new and it's cool looking. That dirt turn is not the easiest. And then you there's a risky route here that I have to get right. It can be risky. You want to get a low jump here. Onto this turn. Keep as much speed as possible here. The gear was not great. I did at least get a good gear there. And then into the risky finish. It's not even that risky. But still good. Let's keep going at it. It's kind of the one... It's kind of the one scenario I didn't expect. Because, like, if I played the map for use in the background of a weekend video, then, you know, I've played the track, I have a medal for it, you can see that I've already played the track. Technically, I hadn't played this track yet. I didn't even remember, I didn't even notice the name. I was like, oh, we're gonna play Tiku, and then we did the first jump. It was the first jump. You can go back in the footage and watch that it was the it was this jump after this turn. That I was like, oh wait, I know this track. I watched a cup happen on it. So yeah, the one time where my experience of a track exists, though I've never actually technically played the track. Let me get this better. There's some key points that I feel I could improve my time currently. Doing a diagonal jump here makes me land sooner. Though I can't take it too diagonally. I'd like to minimize airtime there. If I could minimize airtime here, that'd be good too, but uh, I'm sometimes running into stuff, so. It's not the most desired thing. <laughs> At least doing it fast is a good idea. I'm, I'm, I've seen some of the new blocks. Actually, I've seen a, a whole, pretty much all the new blocks. Some of them are scenery, which I'm super excited for because those are very good scenery blocks. Um, 
even though some of them I've used as custom blocks before, though some of them I haven't, um, and some of them are blocks that I probably won't use, there was a lot of updates to ice and water, which I don't plan on using very much, but there were some other cool things like uh, custom checkpoints, basically. And uh, there are now ring versions of all the effects. So you can have like a booster, a ring booster, which is an interesting concept. I'm gonna have to play with that, see how it works in the air because I de because it's a ring. So you could potentially jump from like a ramp into a ring booster and get boosted mid air question mark or even cause you can anti booster, you could get slowed down mid air. It's kind of a weird thought. I'm not even sure. I'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna have to test. Further testing is required to see what they do. Those are pretty hype. The custom checkpoints are pretty cool. Even though I, I, I'm probably going to make custom checkpoints. I always, I always make custom checkpoints for my tracks because I want to have a safe respawn, like a good respawn route. Um, one that's not faster than the actual route. Um, just a little bit of anger coming from me there. From that wet plastic full speed map. It's fine though. Um, yeah, definitely. Well, it, it just gives me another checkpoint to use that I can, because I, I've at this point learned how to make custom blocks of things and, so any checkpoint I could make a custom version of that responds in any position. And maybe if you guys want, let, let me know in the comments, I could make a video tutorial on how to make uh, custom checkpoints for your maps if you want to have, um, if you want to have checkpoints where the respawn route, you know, where you respawn in a custom spot. Because I think having respawns that get you back into the action in the smoothest way possible is sick. Um, and definitely better than like a slow standing respawn for many of these points. kind of ruins the flow like if I like I crash here I double respawn now I'm like I have to get up to speed and I'm gonna miss a lot of these like a lot for a while before I get maybe even till the next checkpoint like here do I even have enough speed yeah I do have enough speed but like you should be able to make everything between one check from one checkpoint to another just you know, from standardly driving the line, which is which is an obvious one, but also from a standing respawn. And technically, I'm cheating a little bit by making the standing respawn fast, but that's fine. Okay. I mean, it adds another design challenge to map making. Um, I constantly have to be aware of where I put checkpoints and how I'm going to get the, the, the driver, um, of the map to be able to standing respawn and sort of be able to get back into the flow of the map. Most of the time I opt for spawning the player on a booster, facing generally the direction they're going to need to go. My goal is for that when they get off the booster and have the speed that they need to be basically where you would be in a normal run. Um, you should be jumping into about the same angle or, you know, sort of position as you would be if you just took the road, you know, if you didn't mess up or, you know, do anything like that. I feel like is always the 
the goal of those custom respawn checkpoints, but I, I, I'm perfectionist about certain things. We played my most recent track, Verdant, Verdant Grasslands. Most of those checkpoints, if you standing respawn them, one, they're gonna give you a good bit of speed back into the um, track. Another big thing about it is that um, because that track was all grass, there'd be some absolutely brutal gears if you did a standing respawn. And so I made sure that every standing respawn would not only get you up to the speed you'd need to, you know, continue the track basically normally, but also would end you, end you in a position after the booster where your gears aren't absolutely awful. I'm pretty sure all of them gear you up and then you get off the booster and then you're good. Which is exactly what I want. I'm so aware of my gears in this game. It might be a detriment to myself, but one bonus it does have is that when I'm making tracks, I absolutely pay attention to the gears. If a gear is really awkward, then I'm going to try to avoid it. If a gear is challenging but consistent, I will consider it as a mainstay. Like the start of Verdant Grasslands. That track is 100% grass. There's no normal track. Um, and so the start being a very fast downhill um, has um, some gear management but the first two are possible to do just going in a straight line like even if you hold forward until you gear up twice and then start turning I believe you can make the rest of the track or like the turn that happens and one of the one of the gears happens after the turn. Like, it give you plenty of opportunity to make the gear fine. And that's kind of the goal. I want gear management in my tracks to not be the focus. It can be an obstacle sometimes, but I don't want it to be the thing that makes the track hard. I don't want to lose that gear, that's so bad because then I could have a bad gear. Woo! There we go. Point four. I finished the thoughts that I've been having. I finished talking about things, and because of it, once I do that, I'm finally able to concentrate on a run. Unfortunately, I have not fully developed the skill of... Um, talking while doing a run. I can't fully focus on doing a good run if I'm talking. As example, especially with gear tracks. Unfortunately, I don't think I'm ever going to develop that skill, I think. Tracks where gear management is very key, I will unfortunately have to stop talking for those. Just no way. It's a thing that I have to listen to, and if I'm listening to myself talk, I cannot p focus on making sure I'm saying things that make sense, and also making sure I don't gear up in a bad spot. I geared up. Okay, that was awkward. I think I had a not great gear. It's fine. Oh no. Okay, I want to be wider there. I think most of my speed loss is in that turn right after that checkpoint. And I think it's because... I'm going wide on the dirt turn. 
or I'd like to not be, if I can. I'm gonna do what I can to avoid that. Really clever use of the sand there to slow me down. Even though I didn't lose the gear. Oh. I am ahead because I didn't lose the gear. I'm very slightly ahead, but I am I am ahead. Crazy. Yep, I crashed. Tis unfortunate. Actually, I don't know if it. Gosh dang it! I, I've been. I was talking. I, I went on so many tangents that I forgot whether or not I mentioned that there are smoke machine blocks now in Trackmania. You can make some insane maps, and I am worried for the first of the month, which is tomorrow. I am worried for what map comes up then, because they might pick something that has the new blocks in it, because they absolutely could, and it's going to just be a focus smoke machine foggy mess. I'm just, I'm not ready for what's happening tomorrow. By the time tomorrow hits, I probably will have forgotten the fact that the first of the month is the time where the maps are stupid. Hopefully, unlike I think last month, this one actually has some consistency. We'll see. I'm okay with weird maps. I'm not okay with maps that just are random. <sighs> like, last month. Like, or I guess the first of this month. I don't want to bounce around in a box hoping that I'll go into the finish line. That was not a good gear. I would ideally like to gear up before I make before I jump down. I've been able to do it before, so I know I can do it again. Okay, that was so slow. Not gonna get anything doing that. Ah, uh, I was extremely close to the outside wall. At least whenever I geared up, I made it. Okay, I need to do that jump a little bit better. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm trying to aim right next to the wall, and I can barely see where the wall is. I get a few moments before I do the jump to see the wall where the wall is. Basically enough for me to go, yeah, I've, I've, I've made this jump. It's enough for me to tell whether or not I've made the jump before I jump. But not enough to be able to correct it. But I crash into a wall. I might turn the map I've been working on, or at least I started working on and then have not been able to work on it. I might turn that map into the map I mess with the custom blocks. Just because it's not even close to done. Or I may make a new map. The thing with that map that I'm talking about is the scene is the the route is mostly made already. 
I have some really cool concepts that uh, I am in. Unfortunately, whenever I make maps, I just make the route kind of over time. Sometimes I just get a good idea and roll with it, and then I run out of ideas, and I'm like, all right, well, I'll come back to this when I'm inspired again. And then I'll load it up, and I'll make another six section. And unfortunately, I've done that enough to this map that I've already got a pretty cool line. But I don't know if I want to change. The end is the one thing that I would want to change. There's no finish line yet, so it's technically not the end. It's just where the track ends currently. Um, but it's probably going to be about the end because it's about 45 seconds long. I would not like it to be longer. And it's already that's already cut down from what I what it was. It used to be really long. <laughs> It used to be like a minute, almost two minutes long, and I was like, all right, I cannot make a track that's two minutes long. Nobody will want to play it. I already don't like playing one minute long tracks. I know what time of track I like. About a minute, or well, about 40 seconds or so. Maybe a little bit less sometimes. Any shorter and I and I'm like, oh, that's too short. And any longer, I'm like, oh boy, this track is long. Most of my tracks are around that time, I'm sure you'll find. Oh, 21 minutes. I've been talking for too long. I wanna see if I can get an improvement. It not be that hard. before I come down, which is what I want. Gotta be careful about this. Nice. Super good. Very nice, point two improvement. Very good, very good. 20, 23 minutes. I'm gonna calm down on the talking a little bit because I've run out of things to talk about. So I will still probably find something eventually. I'm gonna see if in these last seven minutes I can uh, find some more time to make up. Let's watch the GPS. See if I can notice anything from it. front ghost nearly hit the outside wall. He does gear up before he jumps down. He actually jumps more central there. He kind of jumped very hard in the air. He drifts. I don't think, I don't know if that's good. I mean, you can make it without drifting. I don't know what time this GPS is. 45.5, okay. The game listened to me whenever I said I don't know how long the GPS is. I was like, here's the time of the GPS, 45.5, so it's about, it's almost a second past there. I didn't see anything too crazy that was like, oh, that's why he's a, fa a second faster, which can be concerning. Let's do this here. I 
Definitely one key thing that I notice is the uh, lack of getting air on that angled transition right after this jump. Definitely a key thing. I mean, I figured that out. My run has it. I'm just putting out things that I noticed. Just gotta be careful because I don't want to be too late on it and uh, fly into the wall like that run. Jump. I'm a little slow here. Got a little bit of air, unfortunately. Okay, I did too good of a job uh, moving up the gear that I geared up on the on the dirt really early. Not what I want. I didn't gear up. Careful. Here we go. Okay, yeah, so he jumps very low here. I'm gonna eat some sand here. Okay, that very low jump is super useful. And landing lower on the risky finish, i.e. further to the left, also increases my speed. So there's two things that I need, that I can do to make this run better. Can I do it in four minutes, three minutes? We'll find out. Dang it. <laughs> Should have just held right. I'm gonna crash. Yep. I wanna take it diagonally, but I don't wanna take it too diagonally. up. Careful on landing. Let's do the brake thing. Okay, I did the brake thing too well. And I lost a gear. Unfortunate. And I... I missed the finish. That I, you know... I landed in the risky finish way too far to the left. And I didn't do anything to correct it after I landed, so. It makes sense why I missed. Oh, I hit the wall. I think I couldn't have avoided that. I'm pretty sure I didn't let up until after I hit the wall. I did let up, but I don't think it would have. I don't think it's the cause. right before I left the ground. And I hit the wall. Alright, well. Looking like it's about to be the end, so. I will see you all tomorrow. We're going to tackle whatever track happens to be the track of the day for the 1st of April. It's going to be something stupid. This is the first time that I've remembered the first of the month is coming, and that the track that comes next is, is going to be something dumb. Um, until then, I hope you enjoyed the, the video. Hope you enjoy the rest of your day. I will see you all after this run. Okay, later.